All right, folks, if you are watching this the day that it was released, you are watching this on the last day of the year in 2023. Yes, it is New Year's Eve. And if you're watching this, we're still here. Well, if we've been raptured and you haven't, then we're not here, but you are. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, I'm only recording this a few days before, but I think it's really important to talk about something critical here. I want to read a Bible passage to you, and this is so important. By the way, I want to say this right off the bat. Today, actually tonight, I am going to do my annual New Year's Eve prophecy update, and I just want you to understand something. This prophecy update is awesome. It is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go over all kinds of things from uh, the whole year, and we're going to talk about all of those things that have happened that are prophetically relevant. What's going to happen is very simple. If you'd like to watch that prophecy update that is going to air tonight, it will not be on the channel in which this video is airing. It is actually going to be at the Calvary Chapel Signal Hill live channel, and it is going to be an absolutely great, great time in the Word, and we're going to go over a lot of very prophetically relevant stuff. Now, I want you to do this. I want you to go to the Calvary Chapel Signal Hill live uh, YouTube page, and I would love for you to subscribe and uh, hit the notification button because in doing so, it will let you know when I'm airing my regular Bible studies. That is, by the way, the YouTube page where I air all of the regular church Bible studies. And since this prophecy update is a regular church service, we will air it on that YouTube channel, and I think that you will be absolutely blessed by what you see. And there's a lot of great Bible teaching on that channel, so go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe and uh, continue to uh, watch it. I think you'll be blessed by the content that you find there. With all of that said, I do want to leave you with an exhortation for the end of the year. And uh, spoiler alert, this has to do with the vision that God has given me for the upcoming year, okay? And this is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and it starts off by saying this, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. This is very interesting, folks, because what the Apostle Paul is saying here, it's really important that we remember this, right? Is that the people that don't know the Lord are going to be oblivious to the fact of the coming that is imminent. They're going to be oblivious to the days in which they are living. And when the Lord comes and when that day comes, they're going to be shocked. It is going to be a surprise to them. They're going to be blown away because they had no idea what was coming. But look what the Apostle Paul says to us. He says, but you, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. And that is so true, right? As we are expecting the return of Christ, we are not going to be shocked by the return because we know what is happening. And of course, we know about what's going to happen after we are raptured in the tribulation. These are all things that are very well known to us and something that we're actually expecting so that when it does happen, we'll all be saying it's about time. We've been waiting, right? But look what he says. He says, you are children of the light and the children of the day, and we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, here it is, let us not sleep as do others, but let us do what? Let us watch and be sober. Why? Verse 7, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober. Notice this, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Why? For God hath not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. This is such a powerful statement that the Apostle Paul has given us. And here it is. It's really simple. We are going into the year 2024, and more than ever, we need to ask God for wisdom. We need to ask God for discernment. We need to walk in with our eyes open. We need to be sober-minded. Sobriety means steering clear of sin. Sin is the fastest thing that rips our sobriety away from us. And most importantly, you know what we need to do? We need to keep our eyes on Jesus because as we do, he will help us to become better watchers. Why? We're running out of time. And as we get into the word and as we look around and we see the things happening around us, it is going to open up our minds and our hearts to understand the reality of everything that we're watching in the moment. And folks, we are living in the last days. Believe me when I say this. I am shocked that we are still here on this earth, but I can tell you this, every day that goes by, every year that goes by, every single decade that goes by, 
I go, I just, I, I stand in awe of the fact that God has shed his grace upon the people of this earth to give them more time to repent. But we are indeed living in the last days and we are on borrowed time. So what? Let us be awake, right? Let us, let us do what? Let us not sleep, right? Then let us do what? Let us watch and be sober. Very, very important. Enough of the sleeping. We've done enough of it. It's time to awaken and it is time to, to maintain our sobriety, which means we stay pure. We're walking with God. We're staying away from sin. And we, we just keep watching, right? Because as we watch in our sobriety, God is going to give us the wisdom and the insight that we need to get through the day. Folks, happy new year. May you enter into this new year with the blessing of God upon you. And may you go with the conviction of what it means to serve God with your whole heart. And may you start off this year with the understanding that God is faithful and he's good. And he has amazing things that he wants to do in your life. So get out there, fight the good fight. And remember, we are children of the light. We are not in darkness that that day should overtake us as a thief. Love you guys. God bless you. May you have a happy and very blessed new year.